In the year 2050, a man named Adam has just stolen a spaceship. Because of this, Adam is warned by a woman named Maya not to proceed with his plan to go back in time. If he does, her forces will fire at him. Still, Adam creates a wormhole that leads to the past using the spaceship he stole. After doing so, he quickly enters through before they can shoot him down. He goes back to the year 2022 when his younger self is being bullied by his classmates in school, although his father has just recently died in this timeline. His mother, Ellie, immediately heads to the principal's office to question the suspension that her son received despite being the victim. She takes her son home and tells him to avoid being suspended a lot because it will affect his future. That night, young Adam notices that his mother is elegantly dressed up because she is going out on a date. Ellie wants to talk about it with her son, but he does not mind at all if she is going on a date. Despite his mother's order not to play video games, he still plays it. While he is playing, the lights suddenly turn off. His dog, Hawking, becomes erratic and he follows him to the forest outside the house. After following the dog, he finds out that the trees are strangely scorched for some unknown reason, prompting him and Hawking to immediately run back to the house. Upon arriving home, he notices that the door of his father's old shed is open and his dog immediately runs there. Inside the shed, he sees a wounded Adam from the future, which surprises him. Here, young Adam does not know that it is his future self. Future Adam asks the boy how old he is, and he answers that he is currently 12. Learning this, the future man walks out of the shed to get inside the house. He searches for some bandages for his wound. While he is doing that, young Adam tries to look at his stuff and asks him who he is. The boy asks too many questions, causing future Adam to tell him to shut up. However, the boy is surprised that the strange man knows his name. Because of this, future Adam finally tells him that they are the same Adam, but he is from the future. Shocked by this, the boy gets attacked by his asthma, which future Adam quickly takes care of. Afterward, the two head back to the forest to check the time-traveling spaceship, which is currently invisible. At first, the spaceship will not appear for future Adam because it cannot appear to someone wounded for some reason. But since they both have the same DNA, he lets the boy touch a button which enables the ship to appear. They head to the spaceship via a floating platform. There, the future Adam does not allow his younger self to touch anything inside because it might trigger something that can put them in danger. After learning that the spaceship will completely fix itself by tomorrow, the two leave the spaceship to return to the old shed so that future Adam can finally rest. Young Adam then leaves to go inside the house. After the boy leaves, future Adam looks at the picture of a woman who turns out to be his wife, Laura. That night, the younger Adam welcomes his mother's return from the date. He also meets his mother's date, although he rudely drives him away. Because of this, Ellie tells her son that he is being rude and she goes outside for some fresh air. From afar, future Adam sadly looks at his mother because he misses her. The following day, the young boy continues to be insufferable around his mother, not appreciating all the things she is doing for him. As such, Ellie disgruntingly leaves again for work. Afterward, the young boy heads to the old shed because he hears his father's favorite song, which is being listened to by his future self. There, the boy is surprised that his future self has great muscles, making him optimistic for things to come. Future Adam tells his younger self that he will leave to buy medicines, but young Adam says he should change his clothes. As such, the future man asks to borrow his father's clothes. After dressing up, they head to the pharmacy to buy what is needed. While the young boy waits outside, his bullies suddenly arrive to cause trouble again. Just in time, the future Adam shows up and recognizes the two bullies. However, instead of stopping the incoming fight, he encourages it. He whispers to his younger self that he needs to scare his bully and punch him in the balls. However, just before young Adam can do that, the bully swiftly beats him up, making him cry and run away. As his younger self runs away, 
future Adam threatens the two bullies to stop troubling the young boy. Scared, the bullies run away as fast as they can. He goes back home to apologize to his younger self, telling him defeats like that are necessary to shape him into a man. He sees that his younger self is rummaging through his stuff. The boy asks her about Laura's picture, and the future man reveals to him that it is his missing wife. Future Adam leaves the scene after the revelation. He heads straight to a bar where his mother goes to drink. After hearing Ellie complain to the bartender about her son that hates her, future Adam decides to intrude in the conversation and they chat for a while. In a heartfelt moment, he tells Ellie that her son loves her before leaving the place. Ellie senses a strange familiarity with this person and decides to catch him, but future Adam has already disappeared. Meanwhile, the authorities that are chasing future Adam have finally reached the present timeline. The woman in charge, Maya, tells her troops to find him immediately. The following day, the two Adams are eating their breakfast inside the house while Ellie is away. There, future Adam tells his younger self about his missing wife. He tells him that Laura has also decided to go back in time to the year 2018. However, she never returns despite being a great pilot of the time-traveling spaceship. He believes that Maya has something to do with it because she is a vile woman. Young Adam is shocked by this because Maya is his father's business partner. He finds out that time travel is a common thing in the future thanks to their father's invention. While they are talking, future Adam notices something is wrong. To make sure, he throws a futuristic grenade toward the entrance of the house, which reveals that Maya's troops are nearby. He then tackles an invisible soldier. A battle begins between future Adam and the soldiers. Using his futuristic weapon, which is a metal staff, future Adam manages to fend off the enemies. However, Maya appears inside her spaceship, as well as her bodyguard named Christos. Not wanting them to harm the boy, future Adam surrenders to Christos, who beats him up while arresting him. Suddenly, Maya's ship explodes from its side. Out of the forest, Laura reveals herself and fights the soldiers. Together, she and Adam are unstoppable. After finishing off the enemies, Maya retreats. Laura and the two Adams head to a nearby pickup truck to escape. There, the young boy naively tells the two that no one is following them, but Laura replies that they are being followed from above. Laura steers the car to the forest, where two soldiers follow them via hoverboards. But due to future Adams' quick thinking, the hovering enemies are easily defeated. First, Future Adam tells Laura to suddenly stop the car, causing one of the enemies to slam into a tree at full speed. Finally, he tears down a tree using his weapon, which falls down on the enemy. Seeing this humiliating defeat, Maya and her forces retreat again. After the battle, they drive to a shack by a riverside. There, Laura explains that she returns to 2018 because she notices that Maya has returned from 2018 even though she did not go there in the first place. She guesses that Maya returns to the specific year and changed a lot of things in her favor that had led her to being powerful. But putting this aside, the couple shares an intimate kiss because they have been separated for four long years. Feeling awkward by what he is seeing, young Adam goes out of the cabin to give them their moment. Afterward, Laura tells future Adam that he has to continue the mission by going back to 2018 to stop the invention of time travel. She states that this is because time travel has been used for evil by Maya and they have to prevent this. Also, she cannot come with them because Adam's spaceship can only move with his DNA. Future Adam refuses since stopping the invention of time travel will also prevent them seeing each other in the future. This is because they met in a program about time travel. Despite this, Laura insists that he should continue the mission. Suddenly, an alarm goes off from inside Laura's shack, and it turns out that Christos is fast approaching their location. As such, Laura asks the two to leave while she distracts the enemies. After one final kiss, the two Adams head to their spaceship hidden in the forest, and Laura trades bullets with Christos. While they are walking, the two Adams are bickering because the young boy wants to stay in this timeline to enjoy his youth, and the future man wants him to come along for his DNA. Here, future Adam lashes out that the future is not that good for both of them and that they will go back to 2018 because a man might be able to help them there, their father. 
Because of this, the young boy finally accepts to come with his future self. While the two Adams are preparing for their journey to the past, Laura is cornered by Christos and Maya, who is flying a spaceship. Seeing the two Adams leave, Laura smiles and bravely faces her death at the hands of Maya, who shoots her. Because of this, the two Adams are immediately chased by Maya and Christos. After outmaneuvering the enemies for a while, the two stop at a canyon. Future Adam asks the younger self if he wants to continue despite the danger, and the young boy agrees. For this reason, the two Adams face the enemy's gunfire head-on while traveling at top speed, which is necessary for the creation of the wormhole. After this daredevil move, they successfully produce a wormhole that goes back to 2018. There, they see their father, Lewis, who is currently teaching physics to students. Before they enter the room, future Adam forbids the young boy from revealing Lewis's eventual death when they talk to him. They just need to tell him to stop the invention of time travel as a whole. Despite not wanting to, young Adam accepts this. After the class, Lewis recognizes future Adam as his son, and young Adam also enters to hug him. Afterward, the two attempt to explain the whole time travel situation to their father, who is a bit stubborn to listen. Because Lewis will not listen to them, the future man punches him in the face and Lewis retaliates by punching him too. Future Adam informs him that his research partner Maya will eventually mess with the timelines. They head to a motel to talk further about destroying the possibility of time travel. Despite knowing that Maya has changed things, Lewis is still resolute in his decision to not mess with anything because it will lead to catastrophic results. Here, future Adam criticizes his father for focusing too much on being a scientist and not as a father to his son. Upset by his father's attitude, future Adam leaves the room. Eventually, Lewis tells young Adam that he has to leave as well to attend to his wife and son at the present time, and the boy does not want him to leave. The young boy wants to tell him about his eventual death so badly, but decides not to. He also allows his father to leave him behind. After that rough reunion with their father, young Adam tells his future self that he thinks he understands why his future self hates Lewis. The young boy tells him that he just misses him and that hating him is a coping mechanism. Meanwhile, Maya visits her younger self to warn her about the two Adams. Young Maya seems to care a lot about ethics and the environment, which is why she reprimands her future self. But future Maya knows that deep inside, her only concern is her achievements. The following day, instead of going to work, Lewis stays with his family. He starts to doubt whether he really is a good father, but Ellie reassures him that he is great at it. Meanwhile, the two Adams go to Maya's company to destroy the electromagnetic machine inside, which makes time travel possible. Future Adam instructs his younger self to get his weapons, which excites the young boy. Afterward, future Adam walks into the building and notices that everything is suspiciously quiet. Out of nowhere, invisible soldiers show themselves with guns pointed at him. Here, young Adam flies a drone toward them and shoots a shockwave at the enemies, thus starting the battle. After Adam quickly dismantles the soldiers, two cars come into view. While the young boy manages to flip the other car using the shockwave, the other car is still going at future Adam at full speed. Suddenly, another car hits the car that is supposed to ram future Adam, saving future Adam from being hit. It turns out that the driver of this car is Lewis, who has decided to help the two. They head inside the building, while young Adam stays outside to guard the perimeters using his drone. However, unknown to the two, young Adam is eventually taken hostage by Maya and her troops. Inside the facility, Lewis explains to his son that simply destroying the machine will not prevent time travel. What they need to kill is the algorithm that Lewis formulated, which is inside a diamond-shaped flash drive. They make their way to the machine, which is inside an electromagnetic reactor. Lewis explains that pulling the flash drive can either cause a deadly meltdown or just simply shut down. After he pulls it off the machine, the machine simply shuts down. However, the two Mayas suddenly appear along with other soldiers. After arguing with each other, future Maya demands the flash drive, but future Adam refuses. Because of this, she reveals that she has taken the young boy hostage, even though he is still a kid, and Christos brings him in, threatening future Adam to cooperate. Future Maya threatens to finish the young boy if her demand is not met. While everyone is convincing him to give up the flash drive, Future Adam winks at his younger self instead, signaling him to move. 
As such, the young boy quickly swipes the gun pointed at his head away. Future Maya accidentally pulls the trigger, causing the bullet to hit the glass walls of the reactor. This triggers a catastrophic meltdown. Soon after, metal objects are being pulled into the reactor, including the soldiers wearing metal suits. One of these soldiers catches young Adam, forcing him to be pulled into the reactor as well. Due to this meltdown, the facility begins to implement security measures that lock everyone inside. Amidst the chaos, future Maya orders Christos to forcefully retrieve the flash drive. As such, a melee ensues between the two great fighters, while Lewis tries his best to stop the machine. During their fight, future Adam drops his main weapon right near young Adam, forcing him to fight Christos with his bare hands. While this is happening, young Adam manages to escape the enemy holding him. Upon escaping, the boy sees the weapon that future Adam dropped, exciting him. By using the metal stuff, young Adam sends himself to the battlefield and even does a superhero landing. However, he gets easily knocked down by Christos. Future Adam retaliates by beating Christos up, but the enemy is just too strong for him to handle. Christos then slowly chokes the life out of him. Future Adam notices that the metal door is getting ripped apart by the reactor's strong magnet. As such, he pushes Christos just in time for metal debris to hit him in the head, sending Christos flying toward the reactor. Because of this, the reactor starts to react more violently and the room will lock down in two minutes. At this point, Lewis has given up on fixing the machine and returns to his sons. The two Mayas show themselves with a young Maya holding the armor-piercing gun. Again, future Maya demands the flash drive, but Lewis tells her that it will not be given up. He tries to convince Maya not to shoot. Because her younger self is hesitating, future Maya steals the gun and threatens Lewis once more. However, the difference is that she is more willing to shoot him. Despite this, Lewis still refuses, prompting her to finally shoot him. However, instead of the bullet heading straight to Lewis's chest, it steers towards young Maya instead due to the strong magnet pull killing her. Because her younger self has died, future Maya dies as well. Lewis explains to his sons that he knows the trajectory of the bullet will change due to it having a steel core. After explaining this, the three finally run away to escape the place. Before the door closes on them, the three manage to cross to the other side. Afterward, the three walk back home, with Lewis wondering why his sons are still there if they have successfully destroyed time travel. Future Adam explains that the timeline is adjusting. They enter the house, which is empty because the Ellie and Adam of this timeline are at school. Here, Lewis reveals to his sons that he already knows he will eventually die since the moment he saw them, although he does not know when and how. Because of this, future Adam tells him that they can still change the future so that Lewis can live, but the father refuses. He tells his sons that they are his future and that he is proud to see them. He then tells future Adam how much he loves them. At first, future Adam refuses to yield to his emotions, but he eventually cries his heart out after Lewis embraces him. The young boy also joins the embrace. With some time still left before the boys disappear, Lewis thinks of a great pastime for them, playing catch. Before they start, future Adam tells his younger self that if he manages to remember something, he should hug Ellie for him. Afterward, the three play catch until the two boys disappear. The time jumps back to 2022, where young Adam is preparing for school and Ellie is handling her files. When young Adam is about to leave, he suddenly stops and feels that there is something he must do. He then hugs his mother and Ellie lovingly returns the embrace. Meanwhile, in the future, Adam meets Laura while inside a room for flight training. But it turns out that Laura has actually entered the wrong class because she is supposed to enter a linguistics class. Sensing that they have met before, future Adam offers to help her find her class. The movie is great due to the dynamic between the past and future Adams. It also manages to pull my heartstrings at some heartfelt moments and makes me laugh at some dialogues between characters. The movie effectively showcases the potential pros and cons of time travel. On the one hand, it enables a person to see people that have long been gone, but on the other hand, it also enables one to change the timeline to whatever they want. It also shows the importance of being there for one's children because it will affect the child's growth into the future.